Hello, everyone, and welcome to Track in a Half. We've got uh, Core Gadget running here, as you can see. So the idea is I'm going to try and create a nice sounding track in about half an hour. There are no limitations. I can add other instruments if I want. Go. All right, here we go. Let's start with some drums, shall we? That's cool. All right, let's get some hi-hats in there. That's kind of cool. I like that a lot. So let's take this and mirror that rhythm um, in the bass line. All right, now we're going to take this and move it up. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's, uh, let's so maybe two of those and then maybe like a bit of a lead thing going on. I always like to do four bar leads. Maybe not that high. Did like a bit of a chip tune lead. Three beat phrase, my fave. And then maybe start building a chord underneath, right? And then we toss some stuff above it. That's cool. All right, I dig that a lot. Um, we'll duplicate that. Maybe add an ARP on top of that. Oh yeah, and then down to the E flat. Oh, baby. There we go, create a little bit of tension going on. That's kind of gnarly, I like that a lot. And then maybe a bit of a build here. Do that, right? And then since I have half an hour, uh, we're gonna edit the velocity to create a build. That should sound pretty good. And then maybe we copy this, put it here. Um, I'm definitely thinking some sort of wobble bass here. So we're gonna add that in real quick. Um, uh, I know it's a bit contrived and dubstepy, but I think it'll work here. That's kind of cool. Um, I actually want this to have like a ton of reverb on it. So we're going to go over to the mix, uh, turn on the reverb a bit, put some reverb up on all of them just so it creates a bit of a room sound. But I want the reverb way up on this. <laughs> there we go so it just sounds a little bit otherworldly and sort of out of place you know on top of on top of that stuff let's take that and i think now that's the arp right we're gonna put that into the lead i think maybe down the octave though <laughs> So here's what I'm thinking now. We take this and put it up the octave and it gets really thick sounding. And then maybe we get the bass doing this pattern. <laughs> So maybe we, and then we get the, oh yeah, we get the kick drum going with that and that's sick. Okay, um, we're gonna create a bit of a drop here and go into halftime, cause I love halftime. I think we start with just bump, 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 right? Maybe add in like a bit of a bump. Grab that, all right, we're gonna add that. And that doesn't do it. And then of course, for that last little bit, we're gonna add the lovely noise riser. I don't know, even know what that means, but. Whoa, man. Then we're gonna do, uh, let's, okay. So now we do triplets because triplets are great. <laughs> we're gonna make this a little trap because I like to do that with all my songs. And then here we're actually going to do eighth note triplets. And then we're going to do the same chord progression, but with this, these note values. Uh, maybe a little less length on those. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm going to turn this down a bit. And then maybe we'll do like a, just like a really quick two bar arpeggiation here. So maybe like that. Because it just goes on a B. Heck 
yes, that's cool, dude. All right, I like that a lot. Um, and then I guess we'll duplicate that and maybe put it in here. And put this up the octave because it needs to be put up the octave because it'll sound better. <laughs> that is the main reason I do a lot of stuff because it's gonna sound better. Oh my God, that's not where I wanted that to be, but it sounds kind of cool. Uh, what does it start on an E, right? Now we start uh, fleshing out these as like chords. Yeah, yeah. And then that becomes unmasked here, I think. Actually, maybe just get rid of the drums again. That maybe actually like make these chords a little thicker like add in some something yeah but actually let's copy that over maybe a little less reverb on that so maybe we make it the least busy parts maybe we just make the just the snare and the yeah maybe we do that and then we like put that in the in the bells really low wow that's that's killer i like that a lot and maybe this bass needs a little bit more there we go it's decay and sustain i mean Less busy hi-hat pattern. Uh, right along with maybe like, maybe the pad's doing this now as well. But like, let's do seventh chords because seventh chords always sound nice and spicy. Usually, anyways. This needs a little bit less of reverb. What if we take that and then we just do... It's gonna be a little laborious. Okay, six minutes, I gotta start wrapping it up. And then one of my favorite things to do is take the end of a phrase and then uh, I'm going to do that. Take the end of the phrase. What does that start on? That starts on the E flat. We're going to get into it, baby. Oh, yeah, dude. And then halfway through, man, we add in the bass doing the same thing. But down. Oh, it's going to be sick. Uh, not that low. <laughs> claps. And then I think we just loop to this. And I want a pad to be going on the whole time. Uh, lower. And then it starts to build. Oh yes, and then we're gonna do a riser, I guess, at the last. Again, kind of cliche. I think we, and then we just do a two beat thing, like uh, two, right? One, two, um, make this two, eight, two, four, rather, it's fine. All right, minute 49. Uh, to clean up, I want to do one more thing. Maybe put it up the... Maybe put it up the octave. Uh, 
All right, that's sick. I think that um, pretty much wraps it up. I'm just gonna do some last minute level adjustment. You know, we're gonna throw another riser in there really, really quickly. Gonna rise it right into the next riser. All right, 10 seconds. Let's hear how this sounds. Hopefully it sounds good, because it's all over otherwise. All right, and that's it. That is the end of uh, of my time, so I can't change anything anymore. Um, yeah, that was actually pretty great. I had a lot of fun doing that. I had done 10 minutes in the past. Half an hour gives you a lot more time to flesh stuff out, make it sound a little bit better. Um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to listening to it with all of you. And uh, I'll cut to that in just a moment. <laughs> 